housing complex in Fitchburg is causing a lot of controversy. Some residents say it is unlivable. Others say it's their only place to go. Today, the city toured the building after an official complaint. Amy Reed joins us in the news center. She has the very latest. Amy? Yeah, there was a lot of commotion once people from the city showed up to tour the apartment. They were responding to a complaint of roaches and general unlivable conditions. But some of the other tenants and former tenants said the city is just going after the landlord. That's, that's the problem. The problem is the man get away with this because people like this don't mind being in this building, but your children are being sick and you're having diseases and stuff like this here. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm leaving this building so I can better, better, better the health of my children and myself. Tear the building down and do better for the people that live in this building. Calvin Edwards Bay is sick of the conditions at his apartment. The apartment has been kept terribly. The upkeep of this building has been terrible. He said his apartment has cockroaches and the landlord doesn't respond to his request for repairs. Other tenants agree with him. One of them called the city and complained, which brought people from the city to check it out. The only reason apartment wouldn't be in good condition is because of a tenant not keeping it up or not telling us if something is broken. The landlord didn't want me going in there with them, but Mayor Jason Gonzalez told me afterward the tenant's complaints were real. He said the place was so bad they will likely have to get Dane County Public Health involved. We're looking at doing this so people have a place that's safe, welcoming, and inviting for them to live. They're paying rent here, and they should get a good place to live, a good safe place to live, and that's really what we're looking at. Some residents don't want the city involved. They're worried about what will happen to the 70 or so people living inside. All of these officials are trying to throw these people out on the streets. Where would they go? They also said this landlord is just trying to do good by keeping them off the streets. Irv is not about the money. It's about shouting, having, having kids and, and, and families somewhere to go. I love my tenants. My tenants love me. And uh, I don't want to disrupt their housing any more than they want me to disrupt their housing. He said this issue with the city has been going on for years, and it's not an issue of livability, but what the city wants to do with the property. He said the city wants to tear the building down and build a road where it was, but he said he won't let it happen. It's causing a ruckus, and I don't know really what Fitchburg is up to here today. The mayor told me a hotel already put an offer on the property, but the landlord says he wants more money. Now, the city said they are trying to put together a plan to divert future property taxes to help buy the land. Well, story will continue to follow. Amy Reed in our news center tonight. Amy, thank you.